Hello guys, today we're going to talk about finances, after a long time discussing other topics. In this video I will tell you how much money you can make from each type of match in the game. This is a basic topic, but I'm sure many of you don't know about it in so much detail. Stay with me and by the end of this video you will know all you need about this topic. There are different ways to make money from matches, according to different factors. I will group them into three categories. The general direct factors, the indirect factors, and the competition-based factors. In the direct group, I include the facilities which will generate money to you according to the number of supporters you have. They are the stadium and the money-making facilities, but not all of them only these four, fast food joints, merchandise stand, restaurant and sausage stand. The club store is not here, I, will, I put it in the next group, I will explain you why. If you want more information about these facilities, there are some videos that I made in the past explaining how much you need to spend to upgrade each level and how much revenue each of them can generate for you. You can find all those videos in the playlist, you see in the cards now. In the indirect group, first we have the indirect money-making facilities, which are the toilets, parking and Floyd lights. I also talk about them in the playlist I just mentioned to you. These facilities don't produce any revenue to you, not directly, that's why I put them in the indirect group. They only make you increase your attendance, and after you increase your attendance, the revenue with these facilities will naturally be higher, because you have more people watching the matches. The second factor is the weather, which in this case you cannot control, it's not in your hands, it's just based on luck. When you have sunny days, you have the highest attendance possible. You get the biggest number of people watching your matches. But if it's cloudy, you get less supporters, and this is the most common weather, the cloudy one. And if it's worse, if it's raining or snowing, you get even less supporters. Okay, so this is an indirect factor, but cannot do anything about it, it's just a matter of luck. The next one is your fan base, the number of supporters you have. The bigger this number is, the bigger your attendance is expected to be. Okay, it's a number that doesn't give you money directly during the games, but it makes your money making facilities and the stadium to produce more revenue. That's why I put it here, in the indirect group. If you win or if you draw away, you get more supporters. As you increase your fan base, you increase your attendance and you get more money. Finally, I put the merchandise store, which is a money-making facility that you have in the stadium, but it only gives you money during the economy update on Mondays. That's why I put it in the indirect group. However, you can still consider this as a money which is produced from your matches, because as you win more matches, your fan base grows, which will give you more revenue from the merchandise store. Then we have the competition-based factors. As I just mentioned to you, the price of each ticket for each match is 200. It doesn't change regardless of the competition you're playing. The same happens to your money-making facilities. All of them will produce the same revenue regardless of the competition you are playing. They are based only in the level you have that those facilities at. However, the revenue produced during the matches is distributed differently depending on the competition you are playing and you can also get extra money based on other things that happen in each competition specific features of each competition as you know in the game we have three official competitions which are the national league the national cup and the international competitions in this case the last one we can have two different types Besides, you also have friendlies that you can play as you wish and the same competitions for your B team. In the National League, the team that plays at home gets 100% of the revenue produced from the ticket sale and from the money making facilities. This would be a direct factor to get money from matches. We also have an indirect factor, which is a sponsorship, a type of sponsorship, which we call TV matches. Every round of the National League, one match is chosen to be the TV match. 
It is not randomly chosen, it's chosen based on the position of the clubs. Let me show you a quick example. This is the league table of my main team. I'm playing the first division, in the only group in the first division. And in this round, I was lucky to get a TV match because I'm in the fourth place and I'm playing against the first. Okay. If you check the second here, it's going to play against the fifth. Then this match, first against the fourth, gets more importance. Okay. You can consider that the most important match is picked to be the TV match. And the teams involved in the TV match get bonus. This bonus will change according to the division. Higher divisions get higher bonus. You can find a summary of all these bonus in the newbie guide. There is this comment with lots of information and one of them is this. A summary of the TV money you get based on your division. Okay? This should be the TV match. In the playoff stage of the National League, is the same thing, same idea. The home team gets 100% of the revenue produced during the match. For the National Cup, things change a bit. The attendance is always split between the home team and the away team, 50-50%, and the revenue produced from the money-making facilities goes to the home team. For the international competitions, is the same thing as in the National League. The home team gets 100% of the ticket sale and 100% of the money produced from the money-making facilities. However, here we have a different indirect factor, which is the money the clubs receive according to how they advance in the competitions. They receive prizes according to the phase they reach. This is the Fata Liberty League, which is the international competition I played this season. Unfortunately, we weren't able to classify to the next stage, and we are out of the competition already. But that's not the point here. I just wanted to show the prizes per phase we get. If you start entering the qualifying matches, you get 25 million. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, you get this money. Once you enter the group stage, you get 50 million extra. And for every win, you get 15. For every draw, you get 10. For every loss, you get 5. For the group stage. If you advance, which was not my case, in the round of 32, you would get 20 million. But Fata Liberty doesn't have round of 32. We go directly to round of 16. Then you get 35 million. If you advance more, if you win, you get to the quarterfinal and get 40, 40 more million. Okay, then semifinals 50 million. And if you reach the final, you get this for winning the title and this if you lose. These are all indirect money you can get for your team when you play international competitions. The Fata Liberty is the most important competition of the Americas. The second one is the FATA Copa Americana. This one. As you see written here on the right side, the prizes are the same as before, but you should divide by two. If you read this, that's what it means. So, if I reach the group stage, for example, of this competition, I will get not 50, but 25. Okay, then per draw I get 5, not 10, and so on. You divide everything. Here, instead of getting 50, you get 25. Understand? This is the indirect source of money you have when you play international competitions. In the final match of the international competitions, there is only one match. It's a single match. For the other, the semi-final, quarter-final and any other stage, there is a home and an away match. But for the final, no. It's a single match. And the team, which is lucky enough to play at home, gets 100% of the attendance, the money produced from the ticket sales and from the money-making facilities. Finally, we have here the friendlies and the BT matches, which I put here just to mention that they do not produce any revenue to you. It doesn't matter the attendance or anything, you don't get any money from friendlies or BT matches. This was a simple topic that I chose for this video, but I felt like I had to clarify things about it. What do you think? Did it add anything to your knowledge? Did you learn something from the video? Tell me in the comment. That's all for this video guys, if you have questions, write them down below, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon.